All right, so after about 19 hours of back and forth with ChatGPT and entering in this code and back testing and back testing and strategy testing and more testing, I finally have something that works and I'm gonna share it with you guys. So this was the original idea for the bot and I couldn't really get it to work. Essentially, I wanted a two line strike. So two bearish candles, one bullish candle, enter a trade opposite end for a short position. Then I just started putting in parameters to like get the bot to actually start trading. So essentially I made it do this. Every time there was a subsequent bearish candle after a bearish candle, meaning that the low of the entry candle was below the low of the previous candle, it would enter a sell position. So here you can see that the first candle started the sequence and then the next candle entered a short position, next candle, short position, next candle, short position. Then we got a bullish candle and then the subsequent bullish candles high was higher than the previous candles high. So it would enter a long position and then the trend started continuing down and then three more short entries. With that, I put in a parameter of a take profit and a stop loss and I just let it run the whole time. It worked and when I put it into the strategy tester, a $100,000 account in a year went down 50%. So it had like a $53,000 balance, which is good because it's a start. It's where your bot starts trading. It's not trading well, but it's trading. Once your bot starts trading, then you can add things to the code that are gonna give it like parameters to, you know, avoid some crappy trades. For example, the best thing that you can do is give your bot time of day parameters. So you don't want it trading during Tokyo session when, you know, price is just flat. You want it trading during peak market hours. So as you can see right here, you want in the settings a start hour and an end hour from zero to 23 and ending from zero to 23 so that you can use that information when you're strategy testing and doing optimization. And then the next easiest thing that I did was just add a simple EMA to it. So for this exact bot, what I did was if the candles were below the 21 EMA, then it would enter a short position. If the bullish candle was below the 20 EMA, it would not take the trade, thus eliminating one bad signal. Once I did that, then it was time to run optimization. To run optimization, you adjust the stop loss, the take profit, the lot size, the EMA period, the start hour and the end hour. So you start with the low value here and your high value here, and then in what increment you want it to test. Once I did that, I got these results, a stop loss of 15 points and a take profit of 50 points. Lot size was a 0.16 on a $100,000 account. The EMA was 21 and it only trades for one hour a day. Once you adjust all those settings, all you have to do is click optimization and then the date range that you wanna test it from and then just click start. It takes a very long time to do this. If you do it on every tick, it could take 17, 18, 25 hours. Or if you do it on opening price only, it'll take a few minutes depending on your computer speed. But I've already done that and this was my optimization graph. It's very, very weak. By the end of the optimization graph, you wanna see a majority of the points up here. This is still very sporadic and spread out. Then you can go to the optimization results and sort it by amount of profit that you gained on the account, or you can separate it by the amount of drawdown if you're trying to stay within a specific parameter of drawdown, or you can organize it by profit factor. The higher the profit factor, the better the statistics. But once I did that and gave my two filters for entry, the 21 EMA, as well as the hours of trading, let me show you how it turned out. On a $100,000 account, start the back testing from July 1st, 2022 to August 11th, 2023. Let this bar load, and then you can go to the results. I mean the graph. So the graph shows Basically for, I don't know, three, four months, the bot, you know, kept the account balance flat. And then around November, it started to take off and has been growing since. In the report, you will see that on a $100,000 account, it was able to make $81,635 in profit. The numbers that I like to focus on is consecutive losses, especially when you're looking at trading a funded account. So this had 42 consecutive losses, putting the account $10,000 in drawdown which would have failed the challenge. But if you cut the lot sizes in half, you would have had $40,000 in profit and you wouldn't have even come close to losing the challenge. Short positions won 29%, long positions won 25%. So approximately a 25 to 30% win rate on here. But because the risk to reward ratio is so good, you can have a really low win rate and still have a profitable account.
Let me show you how this bot looks as it's trading so that you guys know what it's doing. So as you guys can see here, here is my 21 EMA filter. And then this is the only time that it enters trades at about 6 a.m. You can see all of these trades took profit down here. And then this one got stopped out. Over time, it goes and you can see how it would play out week over week, day over day. It trades every single day, Monday through Friday. Also take this information with a grain of salt because spreads during specific hours are different so you need to adjust that in your testing and just because something worked previously does not mean it will work currently that is the problem with a lot of the back testing and the strategy testing that is done on mt4 and mt5 but that's the information that we're given and that's what we can go off of so if you're doing something and it worked previously and then it stops working like that's part of it. Markets are cyclical. They go through cycles. Some months it works, some months it doesn't work. But the more filters you add on your bot, the better it's going to perform. I put two basic filters, an EMA and a time of day to trade. Just doing that alone with your manual day trading is going to improve your statistics dramatically. So if you've been trading your strategy and you've back tested it and you're like, God, I wish I could have had a higher win rate. Try putting a parameter of time of day that you're going to be trading, as well as putting a simple moving average on there. And I promise you, you can improve your results. And for those of you wondering if you're going to get this bot from me for free, you're not going to because I know a lot of people are just going to use it and then lose a bunch of money and then try to sue me. So it's not great, but it's super simple. Like this is all I did. So take this image right here and try to explain it to chat GPT and try to make this bot on your own. It took me about 19 hours of problem solving to get it to work. The second reason I don't want to give it to everybody is because with bots, the more people that use it, the less likely they are to work over the long term. Because let's say 150,000 people that watch this video get this bot and start trading it. Every single day at a specific time of day, you guys all get into a trade because your bot is telling you to do so. And then the market makers, big banks, and everybody, they start seeing this huge influx of retail day traders trading at this time. And so they'll get in there and manipulate the market and do it in a way where you all lose money all the time. So bots, if you give it to somebody, it's horrible. If you give it to 100,000 people, it'll just stop working. So make your own bot. Take the time, figure out your specific strategy, and get ChatGPT to help you make a system out of it so that you can automate your trading. I've been playing with bots for like, I want to say almost two years now, and I finally have something that works. Currently, I have my bot on two accounts. One is the 200K funded account challenge, and this is the current balance as well as the active trade. It's currently at 210,000. I needed to be to 220, so it'll pass the challenge. And then because I'm very confident in this bot, I actually put it on a small personal account of $15,000. And currently it's doing this. So really good numbers and it automates my trading. So over time, I have less things to worry about and I can focus more on other businesses as opposed to staring at the charts and trading. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I hope you got some value out of it. I hope it pushes you to actually spend some extra time, put in the time and the hours with chat GPT and strategy testing. Maybe you might even learn to code through all this, but it's a really fun experiment to run. And if you get it to work, then you're kind of set.